What is up guys, we will Yugi Tumi here back with another video. This is just a short uh, update video really, um, to say that the Legendary Collection 3 has been announced. I found it on the 808 uh, blog website, which I uh, frequent for latest Yu-Gi-Oh news. Um, so the last Legendary Collection as you know, brought us all the stuff from the GX series, which would be like E-Heroes, Lightsworn, Gladiator Beasts, and stuff of that nature. And this one is called Yugi's World, which implies it's not just going to be cards that Yugi used in the original uh, series, but also stuff that his rivals might have used, uh, people who are part of his world essentially, such as Seto Kaiba, uh, Pegasus, and uh, Joey, and maybe a couple of other people. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing if there are any cool re-releases, any new editions of cards released, such as Dark Magician stuff. I know it's sort of a, a silly thing, but uh, having a cool new edition of a card is, is pretty darn cool. Um, they might also re-release cards. Uh, Konami tend to do this in anticipation of an upcoming ban list, um, so that they bring a new edition of a card into use and then it gets unbanned. Um, I'm not sure what specifically I could be referring to, but certainly none of the big five from the original stuff, like certainly not Pot of Greed or anything. That would be just crazy. But, um, you know, hopefully maybe another re-release of Boys by Dragon. And, like, let me know what you guys think. What other kind of cool re-releases would you like to see? Um, Mega Capital G actually mentioned the Seal of War Calcos, because it's never actually hasn't actually been printed officially yet. So, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be cool to have, of course. Uh, but I want this set to be more than something that's just cool to have. And they do, they do also mention that there'll be uh, new cards in it, not just a bunch of reprints, which is also kind of nice. So uh, hopefully we'll see. I don't know what to expect from that, really. Um, I guess what, <laughs> watch reruns of the show to see if you can pick on any of the cards. But I'm pretty sure these just are going to be cards invented in light of what Yugi might have used, but he, that he didn't actually use. Also worth noting is the fact that it is a 306 card set that is pretty damn big. It, I don't know whether it is or not, but I think it might be the biggest set that uh, has ever been released, actually. Um, I remember the early Legend of Blue Eyes things didn't even come close to that. Um, the, what were they, Dark Beginnings, I think they were called. I think they had like 240, maybe. And even the last uh, one of these had, I think, 266 or something like that. But 306 is crazy. Um, but in fairness, it doesn't surprise me, because Yugi uh, featured, not just in the very first series, of course, but also in the second series, Duel Battle City, uh, also in the series to do with Noah, so we might see some interesting other reviews like stuff that Noah used or whatever, like you just don't know what's going to happen. And obviously what, again, what Mega Capital G was saying about Seal of War Calcos, I mean that goes to, um, you know, all the kind of Arcana Force monsters and stuff like that, so you might see some of those as well. So it really doesn't surprise me that it's 306 cards. Actually, I have just noticed that if you look on the wiki page under the deck that uh, you used during Battle City, Soul Taker is actually listed as one of these spell cards. That would be a pretty damn good card to re-release considering that the Zombie World structure deck is out of print. So uh, that is something I am looking forward to. But what do you guys think? What will be re-released? What do you want to be re-released? Let me know. I mean, are you the kind of duelist who likes shiny things and uh, new editions of cards and new rarities of cards? Are you a duelist who likes the practical side of things where he just wants a less, a lower rarity copy of a card just so we can get a playset of them? I'm particularly like that for the likes of Soul Taker, even though it was originally released as a common anyway. But now that the uh, structure deck is out of print, this might be my only option. So that would be a pretty good re-release, I have to say. Even though it won't be released till October, but I mean, that's not that big a deal. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was just a little update for you guys. Uh, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And uh, I am Weeble YouTuber, and I am signing out.